Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I'm Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to respond to a question from a viewer and that is, do you need journal papers to get the PhD degree? And the corollary question could be that, does journal paper lead to a PhD degree? So I'll answer these questions in today's discussion. So I'll break this discussion down into six points and then we will see what we can do about this whole issue. Now, if you think about it, the PhD is given for your thesis or dissertation, which is defended in front of a committee of experts in the field. And therefore, nowhere in the PhD is it mentioned that you need to write a journal paper. Now, that's the classic definition of the PhD. Now, let's look at some of the aspects which are there as far as papers are concerned. So number one thing is that papers are important for the student and in fact they are more important for the student than they are for the faculty. The faculty may of course need papers to get his or her promotion to the next level. So if he's assistant professor he may be thinking about going to associate professor and if he's associate professor he may be thinking about going to full professor. But the student needs to get a job, he or she needs to get a postdoc position he or she needs to get a faculty position and these are going to be very difficult without journal publication. So that's the number one point. So certainly graduating with a PhD without any journal paper makes it more difficult for the student to land a good position. Now number two is that some countries have tried to circumvent this issue by mandating journal publication. So this of course creates new problems. Now, we all know that journals can be classified into three types and journals are good, journals are let's say bad or not so good and then the third class is they are predatory. So what has happened is that because there is so much demand for papers to get published, some people have brought out predatory journals and some gullible researchers have fallen into the trap of writing papers for this predatory journal and getting that PhD. Now, this of course tends to corrupt the entire academic and research process and it's certainly not a good idea. So I think anytime you mandate a requirement in an academic system, there are people who are going to take advantage of this mandate and essentially mess it up. So that's something to keep in mind that journal quality matters we cannot just say publication in journal a is as good as publication in journal b which is as good as publication in journal c now number three point is that conference papers can often lead to journal papers therefore if there is a phd thesis which has led to some works being published in renowned international conferences such as the ieee conferences the aiwa conference the cm conferences and so on then we cannot simply say these papers are not good because many a time the review process for these conferences is more rigorous than for lower quality journals. So again, it's also possible that some of these conference papers may be converted to journal papers down the road. So what the writer of the paper may do is that he may make some changes in the paper based on the feedback which they get from the conferences and then they can submit these paper to journal. So it's very possible that a person with three conference papers at the end of the PhD may have three journal papers after a year or two following the PhD. So that's something to keep in mind. Now the next point is that the thesis itself can lead to papers and this was actually the classical approach is that people used to write a thesis and then they would write a paper or two out of the thesis after the thesis is finished or they would actually publish the whole thesis as a monograph. So this monograph concept was popular in Germany, for example, and even today a book is often written as part of a PhD in some of the humanities and social science disciplines. So that is also possible. We cannot simply say that the thesis has not had a paper yet, means that the thesis will not have a paper one or two years from now. Now the next point is that the number of papers from a PhD should be at least one. 
and many people actually believe this many professors are reluctant to graduate a student unless they see that one journal paper can come out of this thesis now what can happen is that because of various delays various constraints on the problem for example experimental data could not be obtained so the thesis got delayed the person may actually let the student finish his phd with the thesis and then submit the paper because remember that getting a paper in journal can take one two or even three years and you have to wait for the review process sometimes there are a couple of review processes and so on so you cannot rush the referees the referees are doing volunteer work so they will take their own time so i would say that if you can see that one journal paper is going to come out of the thesis then it may be worth submitting this thesis for publication finally i will tell you that it's not the journals which are important but rather the fact that the phd process itself should be properly set up so essentially it is the duty of the phd supervisor and the committee of professors and the people who examine the thesis to ensure that the thesis is good so in most places there is either a departmental committee which does that or there is a committee of certain people from other universities these may be from the same country these may be from foreign countries so what these people need to do is they need to be more rigorous in terms of referring the phd thesis because what happens is that the same people who are very happy to reject a paper are not at all likely to reject a thesis because they think that the student's life is at stake and of course that's a factor you need to consider but some level of rigor should be there in reviewing a thesis because we cannot let very simple and substandard work slip through that's something which is essentially going to demean the value of the phd because at the end of the day the phd degree is simply a piece of paper and this piece of paper is only as good as the training which has been imparted to the phd candidate so that's something to keep in mind that the examiner the supervisor the chairman of the department the dean the senate are all responsible for ensuring the quality of the phd and we cannot outsource this responsibility to some journal because we do not know the type of journal where the author is trying to actually publish it could be for example a predatory journal so that was my take on the question that can you write a phd without journal papers of course you can but you should certainly try to publish a few papers during your phd because that's going to help you for your future career prospects so i will end this video here and i will see you in a video sometime soon see you then